Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video we have another Six Sense Black Series review. Hunter from the Bad Batch. What an awesome, awesome looking figure. I'm well impressed with this. So let's get him out of the box and watch the review. Well, here's Hunter out of the box. So let's have a closer look at him. And he looks very, very cool in his matte grey and yeah, two tone sort of grey armour. And he's got his helmet on there. This helmet, it's, it's, it's an odd looking helmet, this helmet. It is sort of, it is a, you can see it's a Republic Commando sort of mixture with a Phase uh, 2 helmet. I do like it. I've always loved the Republic Commandos. They're such a cool looking characters and the game was such a brilliant game. So you can see all the armour is in a Republic Commando style. I love it. Some great weathering on this. What I do is just uh, we'll pop the helmet off now. And it goes on pretty easily. So I'll look inside. Yeah, they've sort of they've, they've made these helmets quite easy to put on and off, no struggle. So you've got no worry of room, like taking paint off the head or the nose or anything. So I love that. Look at that little skull there on the bandana. Isn't that wicked? And he's got his sort of camo birthmark on his face, which is really cool. A nice tie back there, brilliant. Got this really chunky backpack. That's definitely Republic Commando, you can just see it. Got the big handles, opens up. Wish these did open up, wish they just made it so you could store stuff in it. That'd be such a clever touch, wouldn't it? And it's got this dagger, which is really cool, <laughs> seeing a, seeing a trooper or client with an actual knife which is a nice touch and what you can do is it's got a storage for it so as you can see he's got a piece on there so you can store the knife I love that touch that is really clever idea using a gauntlet to store the knife like that what I'll do is I'll just stand him here for a minute we'll have a look at the weapons so you get the standard Republic Commando Blaster in its standard form. Big chunky blaster, nice. It's got the ammo sticking out. No no dry brushing or nothing. And of course we get the standard clone pistol as well, which is pretty cool. Couple of letdowns for the figure. Um, first thing for the weapons really, there is nowhere to store this. You think they would have you know, made a little clip so you can actually store the blaster while you've got the pistol in hand or put the pistol somewhere like a slot on the side. That would have been such a brilliant touch. It's, I just don't understand it, Hasbro. They, they make things like this really cool knife holder, which is a really clever idea, but they just forget the essentials, like somewhere to store the weapon. That would just that would have just really finish this weapon figure off. It would really make it a cool figure. One really clever thing they've done is now is with these shoulders, the shoulder bells. They've because these have got the butterfly joints in them. They've attached the shoulder on a strip inside the body, so you can actually it goes with the arm, which I think is really clever. And you can still lift it up and move the arm separately see so you can still have it there if you want to it's just a great great touch and that that helps you sort of position 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 it for shooting and stuff you know but yeah i love that look at that that join you can hardly see that join when it's fully out it's great so you got rotation rotation so you want to get the you want to get the arms up you lift them up it's great well he's very stiff 
got some movement in the chest there. You got swivel. You've got some nice big boots, clone trooper boots on. So he he stands all right. The backpack is a little. You have to play about with him a little bit to position him, but the backpack is a tiny bit, sort of making him to fall over. But otherwise, it's a great looking figure. Oh, click click. <laughs> Yeah, all the scratches get out on the plastic. I've added the touches of like that. I like that. You can see the under suit nice and clearly. I think a lot of people probably get put off because they don't look rea realistic to films, but I think they're great. With a helmet on, you know, you want it to you want it to look like it does in a cartoon in some ways. I like it. I was at first a bit a bit put off, but now I've seen them. In the flesh, they are great looking figures. I should probably get all the bad batch figures. Yeah, that helmet is uh, it's great. Making definitely making some good helmets now. <laughs> so there, it's great. Yeah, that just lets it down. The weapons really know where to store the weapons, which I think's a shame. But they do have the say. I think you can. Can you pull the actual thing off? No. Okay, it's fixed there, which is a shame. But yeah, there we go. Here's my little review on Hunter. Oh, will he stand? Oh, he's kind of standing. I better get this quick. So thank you. Please uh, like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any other videos. And leave some comments. What do you think? I know it's a, it's a brilliant looking figure, but it's just got that couple of little letdowns. But some really clever other thoughts to it so okay that's me done i will see you on the next video bye